this. When you pop in, say hi so I know you're here. I am making spaghetti squash boats. Here, I'll face you while I chop. I'm just chopping um, sausage. Maybe you can see that. There you go. This is just link sausage and this one has some cheese in it. The spaghetti squash boats are already in the oven. Hey. This one's gonna be kind of fast today. I already started making the spaghetti squash because we have some friends to meet directly after dinner. Like we have to eat and run, so. Gonna get started. and I just cut it in half, removed the guts, put oil on it, put it in at 350, upside down, flush down, and it cooks for about 30 minutes until you can like pull it apart and it looks like spaghetti. It's really easy. Um, I'm gonna get the bread started. This is my homemade bread. I have the recipe on my website, littermychaos.com. What? my garlic bread recipe which is way better than just a normal bread recipe just because I like garlic and it's so good that we just like pick at it <laughs> but I'm just gonna make a couple slices of garlic bread for my family to go with this meal I always thought bread was super hard to make but it's not it, it really isn't it's fairly easy. This one is super easy. Mom, what? You need Jace to come play? Yeah. No. Yeah. Okay, so all I'm going to do is put butter on it, garlic salt, some cheese, and put it in the oven. butter one time in a dish and I always thought it was disgusting but apparently that's normal so I let this go to room temperature let's see if it did uh, it's still like it's not spreadable I'll probably just melt it make my life easier What's everybody up to? Tell me, what are you making for dinner? It's probably not even dinner time where you are. It's only dinner time on the East Coast. It's probably not even dinner time on the East Coast. We just eat early. <laughs> when we move to Europe, apparently this, sorry, that was probably really loud. Um, this time is gonna be their um, snack time, I guess, because they don't actually eat dinner dinner until like eight or nine o'clock because they have this snack. I forget what they call it. No, it's not siesta. That's when all the shops shut down. But the actual snack time is called something. If somebody's from Europe on here, tell me. Tell me what it's called. Do you guys see that? I'm just painting the bread with butter. That's all I'm doing. We have really big news, and I want to tell you, but I can't. I probably can next week. Like, big, affecting my entire family and like the trajectory of my life.
Okay. Bread is buttered. Spoon. <clears throat> I'm doing white sauce and red sauce in this spaghetti boat. All I'm doing is just pasta sauce, just cheap stuff because I didn't find the time to get a good one this time. That's what happens when I have to take a toddler to the store with me. Okay, bread is going to have a little bit of garlic salt. That one's gone. And some mozzarella cheese. And the cheese is yummy, yes, but it also tells me when it's done. Because when the cheese is melted, that's when it's done. That's kind of your like timer on lasagna and all kinds of stuff. When the cheese is melted, it's done. Typically, not all the time. All right, this is gonna cook fast, so I'm not gonna put it in there just yet. Those are almost done. I'm done with this. And my recipe book um, on my blog. This is the white sauce. Super yummy. I use this in so many different dishes. It's really, really versatile. So if you want the recipe, it's on my blog, glittermychaos.com. And you can use it for a whole slew of things. For pizza, Alfredo sauce, like um, soups, all kinds of stuff. And in my, um, sorry, I'm a little bit frazzled tonight. We had a day. Um, in my uh, training course that I'm putting together, I teach you how to use, like, make extra of this and then make a totally different meal the next night so that you don't have to keep making food every single night. You have the base of what you need, and you just add the little bit extra that you need. You put them together, and you have a whole totally different meal. So I teach you how to do that. I'm trying desperately to get that launched but you know life <laughs> keeps getting in the way so i'm gonna pull out the spaghetti squash boats see if those are done they should be just about turn this off all right let's see what we made you just take two forks, it's really easy, flip them over and try to peel them apart. And if they peel apart, they're done. This one is not peeling apart so well, so it's not done yet. Same with this one. Like, I have a little bit. If I could pick it up, I'd show you. That's what it looks like. It looks like spaghetti. And it tastes similar to spaghetti. The texture is obviously a little bit off. But um, it's not totally done yet because it's not scraping. It's hot. Okay. Anyway, I'm going to put them back in there for a few minutes. comments yet. Um, what I'm going to do next is put red sauce in one of the boats, so two of them, with the sausage and sprinkle um, mozzarella cheese on top. And then in the other boat, I'm going to put the Alfredo sauce and mix it all together like fettuccine Alfredo and put the sausage in there with mozzarella on top. Then put it back in the oven and let it bubble and melt on there. And then pull it out and you get to pick. You can have one or the other or both for dinner, which is yummy.
Oh, sorry, I just wasn't seeing my messages. Oh, you're having elk with mushrooms, just like some spaghetti noodles. Goulash, but with elk. Interesting. I was raised on elk, actually. My dad was a big hunter up in Oregon. Are you from up north? Because that, in my opinion, seems like an up north type of food. That's where I feel like elk would live. Um, maybe they're down here. I don't know. <laughs> I don't hunt, but he did. He always went to Oregon to get elk. I was raised on elk and um, ocean fish like salmon and halibut, uh, sturgeon, I think was the name of it. He would hunt ducks all the time, stuff like that. So I'm sure I've had elk. I just don't remember it. And then what kind of mushrooms? Is that the whole dish? I need to keep stirring these so they don't burn. I'm trying to flip them over because I'm the world's worst at burning one side of the sausage. It's a gift. Uh, what can I say about that? I've been blessed. I can burn stuff easily. salmon and we use morels. Hmm. I'm not familiar with mushrooms because I don't like them. Morels, morels. I bet they're good though. Good, I'm glad you're here. I saw your friend request. I'm never on Facebook and I was not able to um, respond to it right then, but I promise I will eventually get on Facebook and do that. I will like transfer my videos from YouTube over to Facebook, but I don't actually like get on Facebook. So forgive me if I if I forget to do things on Facebook. You have to find me on a different platform. All right, let's see how our spaghetti squash is doing again. Without burning my face off. Now we're getting somewhere. It's kind of like an avocado. You have to hit it right at the right moment. Otherwise, it gets um, kind of, I don't know, like mushy, I guess. Whereas if you get it where it's a little bit hard to pull apart, it's more of a spaghetti texture. So it's not overdone. I'm not going to scrape the entire bowl because it's going to continue cooking once I put it back in there. But I just scrape like enough to make, kind of fill up the center. actually spaghetti and it tastes really good too. I put a little bit of garlic salt on it of course. I use garlic salt for everything. Alright. So now we're gonna make 
make two red ones and two white ones. And literally all you do is just pour your sauce in there. Mix it up. If you guys haven't tried this white sauce yet, you really need to. It's so good. And then do red in the other one. You don't have to. I just like to do it this way because half of my family eats red sauce and the other half eats white sauce. And then this leftover sauce can be used for um, pizza. Um, let me think of some other things. Meatball sandwiches, meatball subs. I have a list of things that can be used for also on my website. Okay, red sauce. Uh, I'm gonna put this in here. All right, throw these in there. I'm gonna go ahead and put the bread in because all the spaghetti boats have to do is just um, melt the cheese on top so they don't have to stay in there very long. scrape more of the spaghetti squash out anyways. Yay. Wash my hands religiously, constantly. I actually was getting like all of these cuts on my finger um, and finally my husband was like well you're constantly washing your hands with Dawn dishwashing soap I wonder if it's ruining your hands and sure enough as soon as I switched to a less harsh less abrasive soap um, just normal hand soap it stopped happening and it was one of those like you can't use your hand cuts like those ones that hurt so bad that's on the tip of your nail I know you guys know what I'm talking about. All right, all that has to do is melt a little bit and it's done. Let's start putting some of this stuff up. put it on a plate if you want. Yeah, see the cheese is already almost melted. <laughs> All right, well, I guess you guys have to come next week to find out my big announcement or find it on Patreon. Um, but we have, man, I wish I could even give you a hint. We just have like really big things, really big things happening. Um, so starting a company and, you know, even bigger than that, but I can't say. <laughs> but we're getting closer to Europe. It's, it's starting to get us towards our goal of moving to Europe. I 
to hurry up because we have to leave at six, which is in like 10 minutes. <laughs> so I'm going to be telling my kids like, eat fast. Hey mom, I'm glad you're here. Not too crispy on the crust. My husband, he always. How was class? I can't wait to hear all about it. Here in a few minutes, um, we have to go meet some friends. I think you missed me saying that, but we have to meet some friends tonight um, to talk about some stuff. And then uh, whenever I get back, I'll give you a call and find out how class was. And I will tell her my little secret because she's my mom. <laughs> yes, okay, I'll watch your crust. So last time I did this, I kept checking on the bread and it, it wasn't doing anything on the top. It was fine. Um, but whenever I pulled it out, I turned it over and it was like black, black on the bottom. It's not black on the bottom oh, yet. It smells good though. It's not even toasted. See babe, it's fine. It's fine. Two more minutes. And the boats are melting. Okay. Yeah, I will. I'll call you. <laughs> All right, I'm going to pull them because we got to go. We got to eat. Okay, you guys, wash hands. All right. Here's our spaghetti squash boats. You know you want them, they're so good. Go to my website, go find the recipe. It's like super, super simple. I'm just gonna sit it there, but yeah, okay. Yes, I use a ton of silverware constantly. Got it. All right, here's the white one. Chase, do you want white or red? Um, what is the white, Alfredo? Mm -hmm. Or probably, both? Probably red. Okay, and grab a bread. Probably red. Probably red. week for my big announcement. Hopefully I can share then and I'll see you guys then. Bye. See ya.